Today we're going to be working on our... Uh, In this resistant materials class at Bridlington, Stuart has planned a guided learning session for six pupils. It focuses on exploring mechanisms and developing creative designs for a memo holder. Okay. Like I said to you last week, and for your homework, I asked you, didn't I, to look at holding devices, different ways of holding things. All right. Before we do anything else then, holding devices, what did you come up with? Who's got some ideas about what they came up with for holding devices? Um, using magnets. Using magnets. Does anybody know what a magnet will stick to? A fridge. A fridge. That's an interesting one. Is there anything particular about those fridges then? Yeah, um, it just depends like what material it is. Did anybody uh, come up with any other ways of holding, any other holding devices? Emma? You could have had one where like two pieces of wood or something are so close together you can just slip some paper in and it would keep it there. How did it not fall out? Because the two pieces of wood were so close together it was it tightened the... Ah, so they were actually, were they kind of squashing together? Yes. Were they squeezing together? Yes. Well, that's an interesting one. That is an interesting one. What we're going to do is break into our, our different groups. Um, I'm going to work uh, for quite a bit of time with a group over on this table here. OK, so we're going to work through this and we want to move fairly quickly through um, uh, the idea of using mechanisms. We're going to analyse and compare. All right, now we need to do that. Now I've picked us today, I want us to see how we can get on and whether we can come up with some maybe a little bit, little bit more sophisticated, complicated solutions using those mechanisms, all right? Now to start with, you've all got a peg, all right? You've all got that peg. Now there's an example of a mechanism. Kelly, how do you think this works then? Um, does it use a spring action? It does, yeah. If we take it apart, let's have a look to see how, how it works. How many parts are there? Two minutes, how many go? See if you can put it back together. Watch the indentations on the wood. It's not as hard as it looks, actually. On each one of these sheets, we've got these photographs of things that we could use as holding devices. All right, things that are holding devices in some cases. On resource sheet one, they're fairly simple and straightforward. On resource sheet two, there are some more complicated ways of doing things. You can um, annotate those pictures. Does anybody know what that means? Um, does it mean like um, write things on it and yeah. change it and look at it? Yeah, if you think of the word annotate, it's got the word note in there, hasn't it? So if you put notes, all right, notes, you can write that, write that on the drawings if you want to. You know, for the peg, you might want to put down, you know, what materials it made from. You might want to write down, because we've already talked about that, haven't we? What kind of steel did I say that was? Can we remember? Go on, then. Spring steel. Yeah, absolutely. Now, here I've got two of these things. I'm not going to tell you what they are. Two of these things. I'm not going to tell you what they are. One of these things. What does it do? What does it do with the, with the, with the pieces of, of material? Is it very strong? Is that one very strong? It's strong enough. It's strong enough what for? Um, What's it for? To hold a big packet of crisps close if you don't want to eat them all. Come it's then. airtight. Come I think it's a bit like the peg because it's got the spring action wire and um, the two parts that it's bringing together, like the levers. Do you want to take that apart? Just to check you've not missed any part of it. Let's see. There we go. There we are. That spring's a bit strong, so you need to be a bit careful. That's it. Now, now look very carefully. Are there any extra bits? It looks like they slot into each other. They do, in yeah. In case that comes off, but it won't be able to yeah. um, spring yeah. back. Right. No. So they do lock together. I think there are five parts. But two of the parts are, are stuck in a way that you can't deconstruct them. But you'll have to look, feel, touch. Move your fingers over it. We were looking at um, these and we thought it might be like an easel holder because it has to um, hold really thick paper. Right. And I won't use it like on normal A4 because if you put a sheet in, it'll just fall out. That's so you need it, yeah. either lots of um, thin paper or just one big thick piece. I think like you might have to have something like with the paper, like the easel, because right. it's like got a board on the back. Like I've uh, drawn it, so yeah, it's going to yeah, yeah, like, yeah. it's going to keep it 
tight. I think it's a good there. point. And just like it's really simple mechanism for like doing its job. Okay. It's nothing like too fancy or yeah. too complicated. Yeah. Um, right, so we've, we've had a chance to have a look at the product and we've had a look at some of the, the photographs and you've all worked, you worked in twos. What I'd like to do now is just to, 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 for people to be able to share with other people what it is they found out. Can you give me two things that you found out from either the photographs or from the products you've looked at that help you use, help, will help you use that mechanism in a sort of a creative way? I found the spring um, action was really good because you could um, hold maybe just one thin thing or a big thick thing where um, on our sheet we had these kind of pegs which you, could, you had to have lots of thin things or one big thing so it needs to um, be able to hold different sized things. Right, right. OK, yeah, that's a good one. Carrie, what about you? Um, I think it also needs to be strong as well to hold things in place because um, we took this apart and we found it very hard to put it back together mm. because the spring mechanism was very strong. Right, so you've got to think of some way of using that idea in your, in your design uh, with some other materials to get, that, to get that amount of grip, I suppose, is, is the right word, isn't it? Yeah. OK, that's lovely, that's great, thank you. Josh, what have you got? I think that um, because we've actually annotated these images, um, it helps us like, to discover what sort of design we're going to actually like produced because they're all of like different um they're all some are complicated and some are less complicated than others and i, I think i'd rather use the less complicated one because it's more simple and efficient but right. it still does the same job as the more complicated one okay okay that's fair enough yeah josh um we found that um these hold um either lots of thin things or one um quite thick thing so um we wouldn't use something exactly like this um to just hold one piece of paper um, and we also found out um, about those which are used on a string system, so we thought we might be able to do right. something with strings or ropes or something. OK, Lauren, Emmy. We looked at this, and we could use... Um, to, you know, slot. What is it? Well, it's a spring thing. Slinky. When you have it open like that, you could slot pieces of paper in between right. the gaps. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean, yes. And you could use it as a paperweight as well. Yeah, we thought we could make it out of that springy wood. Right. Have a look at some of these things here and see if you can compare those with what you've been looking at. The marble wouldn't help much because it'd always be rolling around and it wouldn't hold things in place as much. It's not very attractive. It looks like um, hard to work out how it actually properly works. It didn't hold it very well. No, not really. Well, this one's a bit like the easel board, but it do not really open that well, so... You can't really slot anything in, and if you just slot it in about halfway, it'll just fall out. Don't really hold much. Yeah, this is just like the same mechanism as this one, but I think this is like just to hold like thicker paper or even a board. So look, it don't come out. But if, say, if it's, for example, it's going to hold a piece of paper, it's just going to fall out fall straight out. away. It? Yeah. So you need to sort of get it in between that yeah. and that. It's got to be like made out of spring steel as well, really. I like a good material like metal, so it can actually lift up because that wood doesn't come up, does it? Yeah. This is actually like a bottle stopper, apart from it doesn't stop liquid. <laughs> yeah, it's like that's leaving it, like that. Yeah, but if you put like a piece of paper on it, it's a bit loose. Because you see, you have that on your wall, it'd slip out. You'd have to have something, you know, propping it up in there. Mm. Like, just spring or something like this. Mm. See, you could just. And then pop some up like that. Then maybe if you hang it up on your wall, it won't fall out. If we're moving on from that now, if we think now, we've looked at we've looked at a number of products, we've analysed those, we've compared them. What I'd like to see is for you to start to um, try out some of those ideas. Now, some of, you might want to use a bit of paper. You might want to draw some ideas out on pieces of paper. You might want to start modelling. There's some uh, modelling materials for you to use. OK, some Corex, some foam board, some cutting mats, knives, and what have you. OK. What are you thinking? OK, put them in there like that, and then you cut down there. So you put your fingers in that groove, and you cut down there. And you won't cut through all in one go, so you cut through, say, three or four goes, OK? You might find it easier, actually, if you stand up, because you're higher up then. OK. 
Yeah. What are you going to do? You're going to put something on the front of it? Yeah, OK. I've started my model and it's helping to develop my ideas. Well, I've discovered like um, all like different mechanisms, like how simple and complicated they are. I think this like is going to help with the development and like the creativeness of the actual design that I'm going to okay. make. I think what I need to do next is design like, the top part. Of all right, okay. So you're looking at the aesthetic bit of it and what it looks like to all the people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's great, thank you. Um, I found that the most useful thing is to use a spring action because it's strong and it holds any size right. kind of things. So function-wise, you think, you think that peg is probably the best in terms of how it functions? Mm -hmm. That's interesting, yeah, okay. You know when you did your uh, annotation, was there, were there any other ones that you really liked on that? Um, I, like, I liked the um, wedging into the slinky. Right, it, it yeah. It looked good, but it still held things right. in, um, in the right places. And... Okay, so you quite like that one, because it's a little bit different as well, isn't it? And that, so it's that little bit of creative that we talked about. 